In some languages, such as German and Italian, the words for debt and guilt are the same. And the link between debt and guilt is also found in Scripture. The Bible sometimes describes sin as a debt. It also teaches that we owe a debt we can never pay, and the ultimate consequence of our sin is eternal death. But because of God's gracious gift, an astonishing exchange took place when Jesus died at Calvary. Jesus, who never sinned, took our sins upon himself. And in exchange, we receive by faith the righteousness of God, which we did not possess. This righteousness, a right standing before God, is credited or reckoned to us as if it were ours. This is the glorious truth of justification by faith. In Christ, I am counted just as if I'd never sinned. And this righteousness is received by faith. The type of faith demonstrated by Abraham in response to God's promise of an heir. Even though all the external evidence pointed to the impossibility of this happening, Abraham believed. He trusted that God would keep his word. John Payton was a pioneer missionary in the New Hebrides, now known as Vanuatu. He embarked on a translation of the New Testament into one of the local languages, but he could not find an equivalent word for faith, something that perplexed him as faith is referred to frequently in the New Testament. One day he was visited by a native evangelist who had just returned from a preaching tour. As he slumped his body upon two chairs, the evangelist used a word Peyton had never heard before. When asked to explain its meaning, the evangelist said that he was resting his whole weight upon the chairs. Immediately, Peyton realized he had found the word he was searching for. Faith is resting our whole weight on God, depending completely on him. 500 years ago, Martin Luther's discovery of justification by faith changed the course of history. To understand and experience the wonder of this truth will transform our lives today.